The 2006 Skyhawk football campaign began immediately following the end of the successful 2005 season that fostered a new type of hope and excitement that Skyhawk fans had not enjoyed in some time. Many questions that faced the 2006 Skyhawks. The first and biggest question was who would be the head coach after a late December departure of the current Skyhawk captain to a bitter conference rival. Enter Jason Simpson. On December 21, 2005, Jason Simpson was named the new head coach of the Skyhawks and the 2006 football campaign was well underway. The road ahead included many challenges for the new coach and he quickly responded by assembling his staff and hitting the recruiting trail. Although he would have to wait nine months before being able to take the field to play, his impact on the Skyhawk football program was felt immediately. What would come would redefine the term success for the program and return a swagger back to Skyhawk football that had been a long time gone. This is Skyhawk Football 2006. Anticipation of the 2006 campaign grew in the coming months. Skyhawk running back Donald Chapman was chosen as a preseason All-American in late July. Chapman, as well as wideout Torian Stevens, were named among the top 15 players in their respective positions by the Sports Network. Preseason All-OVC selections included Stevens, as well as Alex Adkins and David Gilmore. The Skyhawks were predicted to finish sixth in the OVC, and a fall camp opened with much excitement and many questions, including four players competing for the starting quarterback position. September 2, 2006. The Jason Simpson era of Skyhawk football began with the Skyhawks traveling to Athens, Ohio to take on Ohio University of the MAC Conference. A lot was learned about the 2006 Skyhawk squad as they witnessed the return of Donald Chapman and flashes of things to come from the offense. While the Skyhawks were defeated 29-3 on the scoreboard, the box score proved to be much more interesting, displaying the stellar efforts of the Skyhawk defense against a powerful Ohio offense. The Skyhawk defenders held the Bobcats to only 144 yards, with only 62 yards on the ground. The efforts of the 2006 Skyhawks against a larger and deeper opponent did not go unnoticed, but no one could have predicted what was about to follow. September 7, 2006 After a short week, the Skyhawks opened 2006 at home on a Thursday night versus Urbana University. The Skyhawks' defense did not disappoint and posted a 28 to nothing shutout, the first shutout since 1992. Urbana was limited to only 211 yards of offense, and the Skyhawks were led by Marquisio Jackson with 10 tackles. Newcomer E.J. Daniel caught two touchdown passes in the contest, and Josh Chapman led the rushing attack with 89 yards after Donald Chapman injured an ankle. The quarterback race heated up as well, with Dexter Anoka playing well in the first, but redshirt freshman Greg Preston lit up the airwaves in the second half with 145 yards passing and two touchdowns. September 16, 2006. Offensive powerhouse Gardner Webb entered Hardy Graham Stadium to lock helmets with the Skyhawks defense. Some considered this the first true test for Jason Simpson's Skyhawks. The Skyhawk defense did not disappoint, holding Gardner Webb to only 199 yards of total offense and only nine points. The offense was strong as well, with newcomer Marcus Dawson carrying for 150 yards. Kicker Taylor Brown set a school record by scoring 15 points in the contest by splitting the uprights on four field goal attempts and three point after tries. The Skyhawks impressively defeated the Bulldogs 35 to nine. Marcus Dawson's efforts were rewarded as the Ohio Valley Conference Newcomer of the Week. Let me do my work.
September 23, 2006. OVC play came knocking on the door in late September in the form of the nationally ranked Jacksonville State Gamecocks. The Skyhawks wasted no time and jumped out to a 10-0 first quarter lead. EJ Daniel electrified the crowd with a 52-yard punt return in the first quarter and then again by catching a 42-yard touchdown pass from Greg Preston, his second scoring toss of the game. Not even an hour-long delay for Lightning could derail the Skyhawk momentum. Marcus Dawson rushed for 144 yards, topping the century mark for the second consecutive week. The Skyhawk defense continued to spoil Skyhawk fans by only allowing 221 yards of offense and holding their All-American rusher to only 78 yards. The Skyhawks sent a strong message across the conference with a 24-14 upset victory over number 25 Jacksonville State. Wideout E.J. Daniel was recognized as the OVC Newcomer of the Week. Something special was happening in Skyhawk country. September 30th, 2006. A convincing win over the number 25 team in the nation earned the Skyhawks their first national ranking since 1989, placing the team at number 18. The Skyhawks took their national ranking and a three-game win streak to Austin P to face the Governors. Although the Skyhawks appeared sluggish in the first half, they orchestrated a second-half comeback to win 20-10. Led by the return of Donald Chapman with his first 100-yard performance of the season, Chapman scored on a 31-yard scamper in the third quarter to put the Skyhawks on top. Operating from the five-yard line, the Governors threatened late, but senior David Gilmore intercepted an Austin P. pass to deny a comeback. October 5, 2006 the number 22 Skyhawks continued OVC play by traveling to Tennessee Tech in early October. Under horrible weather conditions, the Skyhawks proved their toughness in a battle of the trenches. Tennessee Martin completed only two passes in the game and were carried once again by the mighty legs of Donald Chapman. Chapman carried for 214 yards in the contest. Junior Jamin Perry rushed for two scores, proving the Skyhawks had more than one way to win. Jesse Burton stunned the Tech home crowd by returning a kickoff 96 yards to the house for a Skyhawk touchdown and eliminating Tech's building momentum. The defensive squad limited the Golden Eagles to only 16 points and 269 yards of total offense. The Skyhawks improved to 2-0 in the OVC and climbed to number 17 in the national rankings. Coach Jason Simpson was named the best head coach at midseason. October 21st, 2006. After a much needed week off, the Skyhawks traveled to Birmingham, Alabama to take on the Samford Bulldogs. Tennessee Martin stood firm behind their nationally ranked defense to complete a 10-6 victory and their third OVC win of the year. Led by senior and Buchanan Award finalist Marquisio Jackson with eight tackles and a fumble recovery, the Skyhawk defense limited the Bulldogs to just two field goals. The offense scored all 10 points in the first quarter, then witnessed their defense bring home the victory. Quarterback Dexter Anoka scrambled for 66 yards on a third and nine play that set up the only Skyhawk touchdown of the day. A Donald Chapman 12-yard run. Chapman finished with 96 yards, and junior Kevin Rondo sealed the victory by intercepting a Bulldog pass with only 35 seconds remaining. The win streak was now at six games, and the Skyhawks were quickly proving they were an honest contender, possessing a dominant defense and a collection of powerful running backs.
October 28, 2006. The Skyhawks have a true homecoming after three consecutive road games as they come back to Hardy Graham Stadium for homecoming weekend at Tennessee Martin. The Skyhawks come home touting a number 12 national ranking, a six-game win streak, and senior Marquisio Jackson being named OVC Defensive Player of the Week for his efforts against Samford. The biggest challenge of the season loomed ahead for the Skyhawks in the form of number 14, Eastern Illinois. The winner of the game would be in the driver's seat of the Ohio Valley Conference. A mistake-filled first half found the Skyhawks trailing 3-0 at the half, but the team showed their resilience and confidence by putting together a solid second half led by the defense and the rushing of Donald Chapman. Chapman finished the game with 94 rushing yards. Eastern Illinois took the lead in the fourth quarter, but a blocked PAT by senior Joel Kilpatrick kept the game close enough for the Skyhawks to stay in reach. The ensuing drive resulted in a go-ahead touchdown run by quarterback Greg Preston and a two-point conversion run by Donald Chapman. However, the stellar Skyhawk defense kept the Hawks close, shutting down the Panthers. Eastern Illinois was limited to 193 yards of total offense. Marquisio Jackson came up with a game-saving stop on fourth and three with a minute 39 to play to seal the deal. The Skyhawks improved to 7-1, 4-0 in the OVC with a seven-game win streak. November 4, 2006. The EIU victory catapulted the Skyhawks to number 10 in the nation, and junior Kevin Rondo was named the OVC Defensive Player of the Week. The Skyhawks hit the road and traveled up I-55 to take on the Southeast Missouri Redhawks. Donald Chapman had a career game with 225 yards and three touchdowns. Jesse Juice Burton started the second half with a bang by returning the opening kickoff 100 yards for a Skyhawk touchdown. The return spearheaded the momentum that carried the Skyhawks to a 28-14 victory over the Redhawks. The Skyhawk defense kept Simo in check and the Skyhawks improved to 8-1 overall, riding an eight-game win streak. Donald Chapman and Jesse Burton each received OVC weekly honors. November 11, 2006. The Skyhawks return home to take on perennial powerhouse Eastern Kentucky. A victory over the Colonels would clinch an OVC championship. The Skyhawks could smell a championship and what ensued was hard-knocking, nail-biting football. Donald Chapman finished with 171 yards and two scores. Quarterback Greg Preston scored on a one-yard run in the fourth set up by a David Gilmore 27-yard interception return. 
The back and forth game ended with EKU blocking a punt, then kicking a 39 yard field goal on second down that took the lead and left the Skyhawks only one second to retaliate. The Skyhawks dropped a heartbreaker 31 28, ending their eight game winning streak. An OVC championship would have to wait another week as the Skyhawks regroup to learn from their misfortunes and prepare for the bitter rival, Murray State. November 18th, 2006. Emotion spilled over on a cold November day in Murray, Kentucky. Not only were the Skyhawks in a must-win situation to take the conference title, and not only were they facing their bitter rival to the north, they were also facing their former head coach for the first time. Many of the current Skyhawks were recruited and coached by Matt Griffin before he jumped ship to coach the Racers. Coach Simpson turned that emotion into motivation and the Skyhawks turned in a stellar performance in their rival's house. The Racer defense was no match for the combination of Chapman and Chapman. Donald Chapman rushed for 206 yards and reached the end zone three times before all was said and done. Josh Chapman got his fair share with 131 yards rushing and a score coming at the end of an 83-yard scamper. Quarterback Greg Preston hit wideout Jesse Burton for a 35-yard touchdown strike on the Skyhawks' first possession of the game, and Tennessee Martin never looked back, cruising to a 42-14 tasty route of the racers. Number two, hey. do the damn thing. Hey. Cubes on my neck, pocket full of bent frames. Right. When uh -huh. I'm in the mall, hoes just pause. Uh -huh. I pop a few tags, give me that on the wall. Uh -huh. Time to flip the work, uh -huh. make the block uh -huh. bump. Uh -huh. the boys in the hood, call me Black Donald Trump. Uh -huh. Dope boy magic, yeah. seven days a week. Uh -huh. Number one record, longest nitty on the beat. Yeah. Who I think they like me? Yeah. Better yet, I know. Lights, camera, and the Skyhawks were champions the of the Ohio <laughs> Valley Conference. <laughs> November 19, 2006. An anxious crowd of 200 plus filled the Watkins Auditorium to await the selection of the Skyhawks to the Division I playoff championship. The news came via ESPN to an excited crowd of Skyhawk players and fans. The final two teams in the field are Southern Illinois and Tennessee Martin. The Salukis are in the field at eight and three and can boast about a huge win over Indiana University back in September. Tennessee Martin is in for the very first time as Ohio Valley champions. Congratulations to the Skyhawks and to everybody watching us right now at Watkins Auditorium in Martin, Tennessee. So let's talk about this first time team Tennessee Martin. What do you like about the Skyhawks, Coach? Well, you know, their running game is good. You know, Donald Chapman led the league in rushing. He's also an outstanding uh, nationally ranked rusher, uh, eighth in the country. And when you can have a power running game and, and uh, with so much of the weather problems we're going to have over the next few weeks, uh, it certainly helps your football team. And, and then they're opportunistic on defense, can cause t turnovers. You know, these guys got to be jacked up here knowing they're in the first playoff uh, ever. The Skyhawks would travel to Carbondale, Illinois to take on the SIU Salukis. November 25th, 2006. Determination, hard work, and belief was finally paying off for the Skyhawks as they marched into the first round of the playoffs against the 10th ranked Salukis of Southern Illinois University. The Skyhawks were firing on all cylinders early. A deep pass on the first play from scrimmage gained the Skyhawks 51 yards and set up a touchdown run by Donald Chapman. Junior Jack Greenwood returned an interception 51 yards to the end zone, and Greg Preston hit Jesse Burton for another score to send the Skyhawks to the half, leading 21-7. The Salukis made it very clear why they were in the playoffs as well by putting together a second-half comeback. 
Taylor Brown split the uprights with a 34-yard field goal to take the lead again at 30-28 with 3.44 left to play. With only 45 seconds remaining, SIU completed a 45-yard touchdown pass to take the lead and complete the Skyhawk season. The Skyhawks played as they had all season, never quitting and always searching for a way to win. The 2006 Skyhawk season was magical to say the least. Little did Skyhawk Nation know that Coach Simpson and the Skyhawk football team would take them on such a fun ride. Predicted to finish sixth in the OVC and facing a number of challenges going into the year, the Skyhawks had much to celebrate when it was all said and done. A 9-3 overall record, an OVC championship, and a national playoff berth. Not to mention numerous recognitions including Co-Offensive Player of the Year for Donald Chapman, Coach of the Year for Head Coach Jason Simpson, 2006 All-OVC Team Selections for Running Back Donald Chapman, Center Billy Krause, Offensive Guard Alex Atkins, Offensive Tackle Adam Hansen, and Return Specialist Jesse Burton, and 2006 Second Team OVC Selections for Kicker Taylor Brown, Defensive Lineman Nate Wilson, Defensive lineman Joel Kilpatrick, linebacker Marquisio Jackson, and defensive back Kevin Rondo. The 2006 Skyhawk football team returned the swagger, confidence, and glory back to the program. Coach Simpson and his staff performed superbly and mixed with the heart and determination of the Skyhawk football players, they have ushered in a new era of Skyhawk football, one with a bright future. There has never been a better time to be a Skyhawk. Well, I knew there was no turning back. The sound of the drums.
team with a dream of a ring With champions spelled out by the name of the team I'm in love with this time of the year I've been patiently waiting and now a new season is finally here A lot of fans played the game before me And one of them told me never trade in your passion for glory It's all time to shine this year Life coming from behind and winning in overtime this year Yeah, hitting the waist hard, trying to get buff, baby This game day by your beard all the way
Out the country, but the blueberry still connect. On the low, but the yacht got a triple deck. But when you young, what the you expect? Yep, yep. Grand opening, grand closing. Damn your manhole, crack the can open again. Who you gonna find open a hand with no pen? Just draw inspiration. Who you gonna see? You can't replace him with cheap imitations of these generations. Hardcore, do you want more? Cook and roll with the Brooklyn boys. One last time, I need y'all to roll. You knew if I paid my dues, how will they pay you? When you first come in the game, they try to play you Then you drive a couple of hits, look how they wait to you From Marcy to Madison Square To the only thing that matters is just a matter of years As fate would have it, J status appears To be at an all-time high, perfect time to say goodbye When I come back like Jordan, we in the 4-5 It ain't to play games with you, it's to aim at you Probably mean you, if I owe you, I'm blowing you to slithering Except I'll take one for your team, and I need you to remember one thing I came, I saw, I conquered, for record sales, I sold out concerts Smuck, you want this encore, I need you to scream to your lungs to soar I'm tired of being what you want 